Okay, so uh, we come to the last algorithm for sorting, which is a uh, quick sort. So I missed this during the lectures, and so uh, we run through this uh, very quickly today. So it is very similar to uh, what they have uh, the previous uh, sorting algorithm, which is merge sort. Uh, it is also a divide and conquer algorithm. Uh, well, the difference is that uh, instead of just dividing by uh, both the, uh, the front half and the, and the back half, for quick sorting, we in fact we choose a pivot, and from the pivot we divide the uh, so-called the array into the first half and also the second half based on the pivot and when we are doing the quick sorting the first half is going to be less than the pivot value and the second half is going to be greater than the pivot value and so this is the divide phase and during the dividing phase we will then qu quick sort the first half and quick sort the second half and so on very very similar to that of the merge sorting algorithm so uh, let's look at an example uh, of uh, quick sorting so in this example at the topmost level we have the uh, the uh, or rather in this quick sorting uh, algorithm we choose the pivot to be the first value so for this particular version we choose the pivot to be the first value and so for this array the pivot is chosen to be number 15 what happens is that numbers that, numbers that are smaller than 15 will then be chosen as the left array and numbers greater than 15 will then be chosen as the right array so numbers less than uh, 15 will be uh, over here we have uh, 13, 12 and 10 goes over here and numbers on the right, you have uh, 22, 27, 20 and 25 and this goes on to the, um, the sorry, this goes to the left side this goes to the right side at this level, you notice that we choose the, f the smallest, uh, uh, sorry the first element as the partition again, number 10 this happens to be the, sm the smallest number and so there's nothing at the left side on the right side will be 12 and 13 and then 13 is chosen as the uh, as the pivot again as the pivot so 12 is smaller than 13 12 goes to the left similarly similarly in this 22 is the pivot and numbers smaller than 22 which is 20 goes to the left uh, there's only one element so we are done and on the right we have 25 27 goes to the right 25 is the p uh, 27 is the pivot 25 goes to the left and so this is the dividing phase okay so let's look at some code so this is the quick sort algorithm and you find that as long as the uh, size of the array is greater than 1 you call these few uh, you execute these few lines in the first line of partition you will choose the pivot and then both the left side and the right side of the way so so the pivot index uh how to say, the pivot index uh, chooses for you the index of the pivot which splits out the array into the left side and the right side and subsequently you will then quick sort the left side and quick sort the right side via this true these two lines so firstly partition array quick sort the left quick sort the right and this is the partition uh, algorithm uh, it's a bit um, uh, complicated to go through this code at this point of time it will be a lot clearer when we go through the example which uh, we'll go into it now, right now so assuming that we have this uh, this array we first choose the first uh, number which is 8 to be the pivot so 8 is now the pivot and we will then start the index at the second uh, element and we try to move this into the location whereby on the left side everything is less than 8 and on the right side everything is bigger than 8 so this is essentially what the partition algorithm is doing so the first step it will first decide 
the first element and set it to be the pivot value. Through this for loop, it then moves the index along and tries to insert the pivot value of it into the right location of the array. It will insert it in such a way whereby everything to the left will be smaller than 8, everything to the right will be larger than 8. So let's, let's illustrate this. So in the first place, your index will be at index number 1. If, if your tree is less than a pivot value of uh, 8, what happens is that your pivot index will just increase and index in goes on and pivot value pivot index will increase because it is smaller than 8. So this part would be yes, executing. Over here we find that oh we now hit a value whereby um, it is larger than my pivot value. So it doesn't do anything, it increments my index value, increments my index value until it hits into a number that is smaller than my pivot again. And so at this point of time, what happens is that my pivot index will increase by 1 and you notice that I will then do a swap. I'll do a swap between my pivot index and my index, or rather the value at my pivot index and the value at my index. Okay, let's go back to one step. This is where I increment my pivot index to 1 and after that I do a swap between 11 and 5 to this. So notice that in my blue colored boxes these are the numbers that are always smaller than my pivot value and my red color boxes are the numbers that are always greater than my pivot value so the next thing that will happen is my index will increase so it is bigger than the value of 8 so it will increase again to here over here the next step you realize that this is more than 8 my pivot value will increase by 1 and 9 would swap with 2 so at this point of time my pivot index will increase by 1 and 9 will get swapped with 2 once again the purpose of this is to make sure that my blue values they end up smaller than 8 my red values they end up bigger than 8 and this will continue and it will go for one more my index will go up pivot index will go by 1 11 will sort with 1 and we are done for this for loop at the end of this this is what's going to happen we need to shift back my pivot uh, value to the middle of the uh, array and so 1 and 8 will then be swapped so that we know that now 8 is at the is the pivot and everything on the left is smaller than 8 everything on the right is bigger than 8 so before the swap this was what happened we have run we have completed the for loop at the end of it we then swap between my pivot and my pivot index and now I have a pivot index of 8, everything to the left is smaller than 8, everything to the right is bigger than 8. Okay, so we have come to the end of the quick sort algorithm, some other technical details of this algorithm. So um, on average, uh, each partition will have the array to be sorted. And in the worst case, it is n log n. And in, uh, sorry, in the, on average, it is n log n. And in the worst case, it is n square. So take a moment to think uh, what does, uh, in what scenarios would that be n square? So there are probably three. The first scenario will be when it is already sorted. The second one will be when it is reverse sorted. And the third is when all the numbers in the array are of the same value. When either of these three 
scenarios occur, what happens is that in your partition, your partition, you are, you are decreasing your subarray by only uh, a value of one. So uh, that will result in an n square algorithm. And uh, you can easily solve this. Uh, uh, probably uh, the sorted and the and the, and the reverse sorted scenario by choosing a random index. Uh, minimum index of the partition, the sorry, the middle index of the partition for the pivot, or the median of the first, middle, and third elements of the partition for the pivot. Uh, what what this means is that you take the the first value, the uh, the middle value, the last value, you you sort them and you get the middle value of the uh, of the tree, and you use that as the pivot value. So uh, there's one more other thing that I wanted to point out, which is quick sort is it, it is not a they call it a stable algorithm, meaning that meaning that because you are swapping the items around, the order of the elements inside it will not be the same. Uh, what I mean by that is, uh, for example, let's look at this uh, this tree over here. Okay, so you notice that in this example, 13 comes before both 12 and 10. And however, if you look at the next level, 10 comes before 13 and 12. And so the order of the elements unfortunately gets swapped as you go down. So you, you may think that this, this doesn't matter very much, but in fact, uh, this has a very uh, big practical implications. Why, 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 and why is that so? So imagine if you are, you are sorting your, your, your file system and you first uh, sort your file according to your file name and next you sort it according to your date. If your sorting algorithm is stable, after you sort it by your file system, uh, sorry, your file name and sub subsequently by your date, you then get a list of files that are first sorted by date and then based from the date sorted by the file name. That is what you will get if your algorithm is stable. However, if your algorithm is not stable like quick sort, if you sort it first by file name and subsequently by your date, you will get an array that is sorted by date but then it will not be sorted again by your file name because your elements in your uh, so-called array get swapped around in the middle of the sorting and so it will not your initial sort will then be jumbled out so that is uh, one of the issues of the quick sort of course there are other advantages of quick sort notice that uh, the space is uh, is very efficient we are actually only using the uh, the same space we are not inc increasing the space so quick sort uh, uses uh, uh, Leaves uh, less space than the merge sort. In fact, uh, that is one of the uh, one of the advantages of quick sort v versus merge sorting.